Introducing the new feeder meter from Johnson's Innovations. The total solution for your calf feeding needs. From filling and mixing to feeding and sanitizing, the feeder meter is designed to perform its jobs with speed and efficiency. Let's take a look at the feeder meter's operating features. The filling operation is achieved by attaching the supply line to the fill line quick coupler and turning on the supply valves. This operation shows the optional metering system. As you can see, the incoming product is directed through the full meter and metering valve assembly. By simply entering the desired amount of product that you want in the tank and setting the control head to automatic fill, the supply line will automatically shut off when the desired level is reached. This avoids costly and messy overfilling, leaving the operator free to tend to other tasks, confident that the tank will fill properly. As soon as the tank starts to fill, the mixing operation can begin. To start, simply turn on the first two valves in the valve bank at the rear of the tank. The first valve operates the sparge which is a tube located a few inches above the bottom of the tank covering its length. Holes in the tube flush the bottom of the, of the tank minimizing the likelihood of solids settling out and keeping the product in solution during the feeding process. The valve will stay on during the entire operation of the feeder meter. The second valve operates the mixing system, a series of three injectors located at the top of the tank along each side. These injectors mix the milk powder as it enters the tank opening. This valve will be turned off during the feeding operation, allowing more supply for the feed line. When the fill and mix operation are complete, we are ready to feed. Be sure that the supply line is disconnected from the tank and that the feed line is attached to the third valve in the valve bank, the feed valve. If you are using the optional metering system, make sure that the product is passing through the meter assembly before entering the feed line. Set the control to the desired feed portion and position the toggle switches to automatic feed. Turn on the feed valve and you are ready to go. As you feed each calf, simply squeeze the delivery nozzle lever and the automatic system will stop the flow after the, the desired amount of product is delivered. After one second, the valve will reset itself and be ready for the next portion. This same operation can be used to water the calves as well. After the feeding operation is complete, the system can be flushed, cleaned, and sanitized in three easy steps. First, drain all remaining product from the tank using the drain valves located at the front of the tank. There shouldn't be much if you are using the automatic system. Replace the drain plugs and using the steps in the filling process discussed earlier start to fill the tank. While the tank is filling, turn on valves 1 and 2 allowing fresh water to flow through. Now turn off valves 2 and 3 and turn on valve 4, the flush valve. This enables the spinner located inside the tank thoroughly rinsing its inner walls. After the walls have been thoroughly flushed, turn off valve 4 and turn on valve 3, the feed valve, and nearly empty the tank through the feed line. The entire system has now been rinsed. We recommend that you repeat this process using a cleaning and sanitizing agent mixed in the water. Now just remove the three plugs. This will completely gravity drain the system making it possible to store the feeder in below freezing temperatures without risk of freeze up. There you have it. The feeder meter from Johnson's Innovations designed to make your feeding operation a better, faster, safer way to treat your calves. Please give us a call or visit us on the web at johnsonsinnovations.com. Thank you.